Hello viewers, a big hello and a warm welcome to all my friends, subscribers and viewers to our exclusive channel Prabhu Events Healthcare and Lifestyle. I thank you one and all for subscribing to our channel and if you have not subscribed to our channel before, do subscribe and click on the bell button. My name is Dr. Jnana Prabhu. I am basically a dermatolizer, aesthetic and hair transplant surgeon practicing dermatology for the last two decades. During my practice as a dermatologist, today I am going to share with you a unique and a very informative topic called acne vulgaris, commonly called as pimples by a common man. In a series of talks, I will be sharing with you some of my unique insights during my long years of practice. And if you do have any questions, do comment on the comment section so that I can reply you back and give you my feedback. Basically, what is this acne vulgaris or pimples? This is a very common skin condition that you encounter during your practice as a dermatologist. This is a condition where the hair follicle, I will show you a small demonstration later on. This is a condition where the hair follicle which has to come out of the skin normally gets impacted or plugged with oil, debris, skin contents in the skin layer due to obstruction caused by various factors which I will be discussing with you later on. This results in an inflammatory response of the pilosebaceous unit. Basically, I will try to explain to you what is a pilosebaceous unit. Pilosebaceous unit, in a simplified way, I will show you a small demonstration. Imagine this is this as a hair follicle and this as a sebaceous gland. So this together compromises a pilosebaceous unit. The hair follicle with the sebaceous gland is basically a pilosebaceous unit. So it so happens that what happens in a condition called acne vulgaris is that when the hair follicle that normally is supposed to come up of the skin in this fashion, this is the fashion that the normal hair follicle comes out of the skin. Sometimes it so happens that due to certain factors, the hair follicle doesn't come out normally in this fashion, but it gets obstructed along the pathway, causing the hair follicle to roll back beneath the skin in this fashion. So what happens is that the hair follicle gets rolled back in this condition resulting in something called as a blackhead. So this is called as the comedon or blackhead. What you basically visualize is the top of the skin where you have a small black projection above the skin. Looks like a blackhead. Similarly, there's a condition where you call something as a whitehead. Whitehead is another condition where a hair follicle that is a white colored that is supposed to come out of the skin in this fashion. What happens is that the hair follicle gets occluded on the skin surface resulting in the hair follicle getting wound up like this fashion resulting in something called as a white head so when you view the skin on the top of the surface you can see something like this this is the surface of the skin where you see a small white colored dot called as a white head this is basically called as a white head sometimes it so happens in case if it's a white head or a black head there's a plug or an inflammatory response that takes place causing some of the bacteria called as cutibacterium acne, formerly called as porphyrinobacterium acne, that's get, that gets occluded in the skin resulting in a small bump on top of the skin, something like this. So this bump basically may be reddish or non-reddish resulting in something called as a pimple that your common man encounters and calls it as.